a 2-1 loss away to Watford on Saturday extended Newcastle United's losing streak to three games, but it's the manner of the defeats rather than the results themselves that should be cause of concern for Toon supporters. With Premier League safety assured weeks ago, there has been little to write home about regarding the performances of Newcastle United other than they have been lethargic and without purpose. The first half against Watford was no different, as Newcastle failed to register a shot on target and were guilty of numerous inaccurate and ill-timed passes. However, it was uncharacteristically poor defending from one of the most consistent players this that lost the two in the game. Paul Dummett, who signed a new contract earlier this to reflect his vital contributions, had a nightmare of an afternoon at Vicarage Road which culminated in three major defensive mistakes directly leading to two Watford goals. Newcastle appear unfocused and tired. Not a good sign for the coming week with Tottenham and Chelsea on the horizon. NUFCWATNEW, Newcastle Tunes at Newcastle Tunes May 5, 2018 Barely two minutes had been played before Andre Gray received the ball in acres of space on the edge of the Newcastle penalty area. With room to turn, Gray looked to play in a running Troy Deeney but the pass was poor and looked easy to clear for Dummett. In bizarre fashion, the Welshman instead played what essentially was a horizontal pass across his own box, and this was quickly picked up by Watford's Abdullah Dukur who, with a clever flick, gave his unmarked teammate Roberto Pereira an easy finish. Pereira was involved again in the 27th minute as he cleverly made space for himself up against Florian Lejeune down the left flank, playing a fantastic looping cross towards the far post. Martin de Baruca misjudged the flight of the ball and as a result couldn't reach it even at stretch. Unfortunately his attempt was enough for Dummett to switch off at the far post and allow Gray, who Dummett should be been marking tighter in the first place, to head confidently into a wide open net. Point two to zero, an easy chance for Andre Gray at the back post. Pereira gets down the left and cuts back onto his right before floating a crossover for Gray to nod in. NUFC, Newcastle United FC at NUFC May 5, 2018 Usually if Dummy has a poor game it's in his attacking contributions, as his work rate defensively and tackling ability have been hallmarks of Newcastle United's stout defence this. Yet on Saturday he looked a different figure, and whilst fatigue could of course be an issue in what was Newcastle's 36th league match this, it was a lack of concentration that caused his mistakes and such errors were emblematic of a team who are already thinking about their summer vacations. Be that as it may, it was Dummett in the 37th minute who piled on another mistake to mark a calamitous first half for the Magpies, and it was Gray again who got the Welshman into trouble. Watford countered quickly following a breakdown of play with Newcastle's defence pushed up to the halfway line. Dummett rushed to get tight to Gray who received the ball in his own half with his back to goal, and this would prove Dummett's undoing as the fleet-footed Gray laid the ball off quickly to do Kerr, and it was a foot race to the Newcastle penalty area. The Watford midfielder overhit the pass, but Gray took a strong touch that propelled the ball forward into the Newcastle United box. Despite the obvious pace advantage for the striker Dummett did well to keep up, and looked in good position to make a simple challenge that was made even easier given that he could lead with his stronger left boot. Naturally, the tackle was poor. There has been contention over whether Dummett in fact touched Gray, but when you slide into a challenge in your own box you better make sure that you at least make contact with the ball, and Dummett came nowhere close. Back to the penalty call, or tackle from Dummett. Had his man beat, but the timing of his move completely off. Luckily, De Baruca is able to stop a third for Watford. NUFC WATNEW, Newcastle Tunes at Newcastle Tunes May 5, 2018 Whether or not Gray fell over on his own volition, such a lazy tackle is simply gifting the referee the opportunity to give a penalty, especially when playing away from home where the crowd can have a real influence on the officials. This is exactly what happened, as even though Gray appeared to initially appeal for a Watford corner, a shout from the home fans was all it took for the referee's assistant to raise his flag and award a penalty. Ultimately it didnt matter as De Baruca made an excellent double save to deny Watford skipper Troy Deeney from the penalty spot and the resulting rebound, but Newcastle were lucky to only be down 2-0 at half-time and dug themselves too great of a hole to get out of in the second half. No Toon fan in the right mind could deny how great Paul Dummy has been this, in fact you could even go as far as to say HES been the Magpies' second best player this after club captain Jamal Lassels, but with the only other natural left back in the squad being the soon to be out of contract Masadio Haidara, Benitez might have to simply hope that the Welshman puts in a better performance against Spurs on Wednesday. 
Newcastle United's manager does have the option of playing Javier Manquillo at left back, but the Spaniard's strength is going forward which would be a far more difficult task playing on the left with his favoured right foot. Manquillo did provide a superb cross to assist to Jose Perez in what was Newcastle's sole goal versus Watford, but once again it was on the right side of the pitch and Spurs, despite poor form, will not grant the Magpies so much space on the flanks. Whoever Benitez decides to field on Wednesday, he will be looking for a reaction from his players. Yes, survival was the paramount goal this, but there's something to be said for ending on a high and not allowing a negative mindset to take over that could potentially affect next. Paul Dummett will know that his performance wasn't good enough, but he must show it on the pitch. Newcastle United will be looking to add to the left-back position in the summer with Haidara on the way out, and if he isn't careful the local boy could be playing second fiddle to start the 2018-19.